Sogatano, allow me to commend you on your efforts today, Yubin. I regret we haven't met face to face, and perhaps now we never shall. Today, victory is mine. Be warned this video will contain spoilers for Ahsoka. Lars Mikkelsen's portrayal of Grand Admiral Thrawn in Ahsoka has introduced a significant complication by uncovering Ahsoka's identity as Anakin Skywalker's Padawan. However, Thrawn is unaware that the situation is about to become even more challenging. Ever since he learned this revelation from Morgan Elspeth in Episode 7 of Ahsoka, Thrawn has chosen not to underestimate Ahsoka. Instead, he relies on his knowledge of Anakin to anticipate and counter Ahsoka's tactics. While this approach has yielded success so far, it's evident that Thrawn remains cautious of Ahsoka and her connection to Anakin, even though they are separated by galaxies. Thrawn is among the few who are aware that Anakin became Darth Vader, a fact he dares to allude to in front of Vader himself. He uses this knowledge to provoke Ahsoka in the final moments of Ahsoka. However, this is, in reality, a reflection of the fear Thrawn harbors for Ahsoka's former master. Now that he has returned to the primary Star Wars galaxy, Thrawn will learn about Vader's ultimate fate and the truth behind the Empire's downfall. This revelation will only exacerbate Thrawn's concerns regarding the Anakin dilemma. The Empire was brought down by Anakin's son. The expression on Thrawn's face upon discovering Anakin's living Padawan is truly priceless. However, when he also finds out that Anakin had a son who played a pivotal role in toppling the Empire, there's no doubt that Thrawn's reaction will be even more shocked and disapproving. If rumors about Luke being a Jedi were to reach Thrawn's ears, it would significantly heighten his caution, especially considering his existing reservations about Jedi and the mystical aspects of the Force. If Thrawn already felt haunted by Anakin having a Padawan, the situation has now escalated with the presence of Anakin's formidable blood-related son. Luke Skywalker is even bringing back the Jedi. Not only does Luke pose a significant challenge to Thrawn himself, but he's also achieving something that undoubtedly ranks among Thrawn's worst fears, the resurgence of the Jedi Order. In the Ahsoka finale, Thrawn confides in Morgan that he refuses to underestimate even a single Jedi, and it's evident that he's apprehensive about the three Jedi he's currently facing as he departs from Paradia. If he were to discover that Luke intends to rebuild the entire Jedi Order, Thrawn's Jedi predicament could become overwhelming, especially with Anakin Skywalker's son taking the lead. Thrawn's response to the Skywalker lineage has become a recurring theme throughout the Ahsoka storyline, but it also holds significant potential for the future of the Star Wars universe. Luke was Thrawn's initial Force-sensitive adversary when he first appeared in the original Heir to the Empire trilogy, and now that he has a connection to Luke's father, the prospect of a showdown between Thrawn and Luke is even more captivating. At this point, it would be prudent for Thrawn to gather all the information from those in his service regarding the events that led to the downfall of the Empire, particularly the revelation about another Skywalker Jedi. So there you have it all. Do share your thoughts in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe for more. I will see you next.